Continuing the Tesla build series. You guys know that weird, weird wood panel that's inside the uh, Tesla interior, the Model 3? I'm telling you guys, I hate it. It is so ugly. Oh, gotta turn down the music. See this, you see this wood right here? Don't like it. In my X, it's carbon fiber around here and then it's white. So there's like color pop. Here there's no pop in colors. It's really dark. You have this really weird white up here. So I figure, you know what, instead of going carbon here to make it dark, dark, why not do some white? Let's open this up like that. Isn't that nice? The gloss finish might be a concern when the sun hits it, but I guess we'll see. Pretty much this goes right here. Oh. Tell me that doesn't look like a million times nicer. And before we get too far in the video, guys, check out primaldriven.com, which is my clothing brand. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys know exactly what it is. I brought it back, which I'm really happy about. New designs, new style, kind of my passion project, which I'm really happy with. But about the Tesla, I bought a bunch of stuff, so a lot of videos coming soon. Look at this. It's really nice. It's really well made. It's nice and smooth here. Bunch of 3M tape on the side. So let's go ahead and clean that off real quick with some alcohol. It's in here. You guys may have noticed in the previous video, which is the custom carbon fiber steering wheel upgrade, everything was already white because I was too excited not to show you the video, so I decided to upload that out of order, which hopefully you guys don't mind. Um, in this video, obviously everything is super stock still, and uh, it was one of my first things I did install. The the cover, the uh, sorry, the steering wheel was right after, within the first like six hours of ownership. Uh, but yeah, in this case right here, you guys make sure you guys prep the surface really well, and then line it up. Test fit there, comes in two pieces and it locks down just like that, really nice and flush. Sticky 3M, this thing is amazing. You know, it's like, I say it every video, but I haven't been this excited for playing with a car in a long time. And uh, it's ironic that a Model 3 would be the one uh, that made me excited about it because I never thought it would. Oh, also it's labeled as an R. So yeah, I never thought a Model 3 would be the car that made me ex be excited about messing with cars again. So line it up, just put it to the edge here. There's no taper here. Edge, hold it down, drop it, and it pretty much lays right there, right flat on top. Put your hand down on it. Press. down for a little bit just like that Ooh, dark mode cool this side's gonna be the same process okay so let's dry fit ready to clean the edges out it's gonna remove all of this this one let's go ahead and lay it to the edge first push nice and firm so that way you're pushed all the way into the center and just hook it right on the top side there's like a little ledge here hook it right into the top side run your hand down Make sure it's all nice and even and start running your palm down. That way it starts getting seated. There we go. And just kind of push it all the way down. If you guys really wanted to, you guys can actually get some tape and uh, blue painters tape it down so that way there's no residue. Blue painters tape here, here, just hold it down. Leave it for you know a couple hours, it's gonna it's gonna stay. There are so many mods that I did within probably two days. Cannot wait to show you guys. I have red levers on order, some covers for those where the shifters are. It'll be amazing. Obviously you saw the steering wheel. I actually upgraded the lighting inside and not just like the bulbs inside the car, but accent lighting that just puts a different vibe in it. And you know how the seats are black? If you watched my Instagram, if you're not following yet, follow me on Smurfing WX. Those seats are now red, which is super cool. By the way, if you or a family member or anyone that you know is looking for a new Tesla, make sure you guys send them my link in the description for Tesla. It gives them a thousand free supercharging miles. Also, it helps me out by giving me a thousand free supercharging miles. Super handy. If you guys know anyone, just shoot them the link in my videos. It's gonna be on my Instagram too. I'm telling you, it's a million times better. Um, and next next clip, I'll get a daylight video for you guys. So you can, you can see, see how nice and and how much color there is now. Like, it's really nice to have dark interiors, but just a little bit of a pop is really healthy. Oh my gosh, the interior change is so worth it. Now, I feel like I'm driving a Tesla now. Before it was like, ah, oh, it's black interior. It's really nice if you guys really like the black look, but I think that the color change, 
Oh my gosh, it just makes it look really, really good. Highly recommended. And my, my cup still fits. For you guys who stayed to the end, let me give you guys a quick sneak peek and a little bit of an update on what's been going on. Um, but here's a sneak peek of what it looks like with the interior almost done. I did add some lighting in here that I'll show you guys in a separate video. As you can see, I changed my steering wheel and the center console is now white. Um, there is like a two-tone combo that people were doing where they would change the sidewalls of the uh, center console. I didn't do that because I thought it was too much white. So I only did the top side of the buttons or the lids. And then I also did the front dash portion, which I freaking love. Look at this. See, looks amazing. Just enough lighting to pop. I'm thinking about doing stuff to the doors, but I haven't decided yet. I'm kind of like the simplicity of it. Like I said earlier, I have red levers coming and I think that'll be pretty cool. Just waiting on those. But let me show you guys another sneak peek of what I already did was this. So a front splitter lip. I love the look, it drops the car just slightly, so it makes it look a little bit more aggressive. And also, you know, it protects the front like everyone talks about. But I did scrape the other day, I haven't talked about it yet, but I scraped and it hurt me so bad and it wasn't, e I'm not even lowered yet, which scares me. I'll have a full video on how I installed this later down the road. Right now, I just wanted to give you guys a sneak peek on what I've been doing. Pretty much every day has been a mod. So I bought everything super early before I even bought the car. But then um, I've been putting it aside because I can't do it all in one day. I did do like five mods in one day, which is ridiculous for me because I usually don't don't obsess like this, especially with car stuff. But um, every morning I wake up, I get my coffee and then I try to work on the car before the sun hits. And then in the evening time, I might do a second mod that day. Um, so I think the completion of this car might be around September or so, which is kind of cool because it would be around my birthday. I haven't decided if I want to bag it yet. So if you're watching it to this por portion of it, which thank you so much for watching so far in, let me know if I should bag it or coilovers. I probably won't do springs because everyone says it's real brown bouncy. Coilovers would be a good decision because it's a lot less expensive. Bags would be really expensive, but a really great option just because it's easier to drive. So it's more of like what's reasonable and what's financially reasonable because you gotta keep in mind before you answer this question is I'm only keeping the car one to two years. I don't plan to keep it any longer than that. Um, things may change, but I don't plan to keep it because the Cybertruck will be coming out and I'm trading this car and selling this for a Cybertruck. So I don't want to dump too much money in. I don't want to be stuck with the parts and then lose money. So guys, with that knowledge, please let me know. What do you guys think I should do? Bags or static? Let me know. A little bonus for you guys, because like I said last time, I know no one watches to the end. But in a future video, you guys are going to see me do this chrome delete with this nice carbon fibre cover. I've been decided to do these instead of wrap it lately because it's a lot faster and a lot easier. It gives it a little bit of texture too, so kind of like this look and hopefully you guys are kind of enjoying these videos I have not uploaded in forever. I mean, these are the most uploads I've done in a long time. So the kind of daily schedule or the weekly schedule right now is one video a week at minimum. I'm going to give that a try, my best, best try. But yeah, I'm kind of glad to be back with you guys on YouTube. I admit the community on YouTube is a little bit different. It's a little rough for me. If you guys kind of know what I'm saying. Instagram, love you guys. You guys are so nice. So if you guys haven't followed me on Instagram, please do because it's pretty cool. The community over there, man, you guys keep me alive. Like YouTube, you guys drive me nuts. But I'm back, kind of. Anyways, enough talking. See you guys later. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. And um, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Oh, wait, turn on your notifications, by the way. Peace out.